All right, so we've we've reached the end of a Friday night of work. Um, wife and the kids came down with with everything to see their grandpa and play around outside. It's beautiful out. In fact, let's go let's go outside and peek at the last little shots of the sunset coming over the top of the wheat there. Harvest time is coming in Kansas, finally. So, um, we're getting there. So, Friday night of, of work uh, that was kind of precipitated by a couple of things. So, I've got to first say that a lot of this is my problem and it's my fault. So, on the instructions, there's a brown wire for the wiring. It's on one side says run it to the your alternator to the one wire side of your alternator down down in there. The other side of the instruction says to run it to the back of your ignition switch for accessory wiring. Well, first thing I did was follow the first set of instructions, which was wrong, and run it to the alternator wire. And about burned the truck down once with that wire. Um, here's Here's uh, some of the loom cover completely melted through. Caught it, got everything off before then, but about burned it down once then. So after that, I called up American Auto Wire. They said, oh, you need to run that to the back of your ignition switch. So I did that, and when I did that, somehow I didn't have that connection very tight. And then when I fired it up again the next time, it about burned that wire off of the harness. It about it, it completely burned the insulation off of most of it. Burned it until it broke. Lots of smoke, uh, electrical smoke. Nothing damaged as far as I can tell. So I had to cut that back and fix that and get that connection good and tight to the back of that uh, back of that uh, ignition spot. So been fighting some stuff. The other thing that we did is I found out that I did some stuff in order. I finally got firewall cover ordered in. Nice insulated firewall cover, molded to fit. It's the one from LMC. It's not the Dennis Carpenter, it's the LMC one. Um, but they look exactly the same to me. I don't know if they may be made by the same people or not. Well, I found out with that that the best thing that I should have done is I should have started with that. So... I proceeded to pull all of the wires back out from the firewall, um, disconnect the emergency brake cable and handle, steering column, take it out, gas pedal, choke cable, speedometer cable, all those things and bring them back out through the firewall, put the firewall cover up, and then bring it all back and basically rewire the truck, including the wires clear to the tail. Uh, it's clear to the tail light wires. So I have since rewired the truck tonight. Uh, we got firewall cover and everything else down and back up in a night. But if you're doing this job, um, learn from my mistake and do it in the correct order. Please do the firewall cover even before you have the steering column hung. Um, put it up there when all there is is just a firewall staring you in the face. You'll thank yourself for having nothing else in the way to try and locate the pegs and get them through. Um, I went with these metal pegs instead of the plastic ones. I think the plastic ones probably would have gone in easier. So, learn from my mistakes, people. Um, this isn't real pretty, um, but it'll be up and covered and it's safe. I've checked it for... Shorts, I've checked it for voltage, checked it for heat. I ran the truck. You can you heard a couple of pops. That was the truck cooling off. I've run it for 10 minutes, um, and so now it's kind of ticking itself cool on the exhaust. Probably means it's I need to tighten the exhaust back up again as well. So that's that's something else that's coming. Um, but that means the firewall cover's in. I'm going to get the rest of these wires up and at least out of the way. Get this cable back up and out of the way. Um, take my my uh, bright my my foot dimmer switch loose Get the rest of this stuff out of here, and then the next time I'm down We are going to put that black stuff there. That's my floor rubber We're gonna get that put in the cab set in try and get it situated. I'm gonna try and do that and do uh, the fender at the same time. Oh, and I got the doors the doors lock now. I've got the I got the lock 
hooks between the uh, the key on the outside and the, the door bar. Um, I couldn't find, there's a rod that has to catch between those two so that it turns to unlock to catch that little rod. The keeper pin on, on the replacement lock cylinders that I ordered, the keeper, they didn't have a way to keep that rod clicked into place. Um, CJ's Pony Parts, a Mustang supplier, they've got those clip ends from the Mustangs from the same era. It's the same part. Um, so you can get that part from them because I didn't find it on either Dennis Carpenter or LMC. So if you need that part, CJ's Pony Parts um, has it and it works. Just runs in there perfect. Um, same thing that happened. So on the, the door, went on the windows, there's a plastic bushing that rides here in the, in the channel. Both mine were both broken and so this this rod could just kind of come off real easy and the window would drop on its own. Um, CJ's Pony Parts had those as well um, and so if you have to order those those door clip things and you need these two, order them all at the same time. They get there nice and quick. They work in, work great, click in, pop in. I've got my 255 AC window ready to get cleaned up and done. So, um, and I've got a little bit of weather stripping to, to, to fix and touch up here and there on this one. Um, but otherwise we're in a really good spot. Um, we're, we're getting closer anyway, um, closer to getting them all the way in and done. Um, I've got some touch up paint that I'll have to do. But um, we're going to end up relocating this just a little bit in closer to the to the radiator because that there's a front valance that sits between this piece and the bumper. This is encroaching on that, and the front grill gets real close to this. So we're going to do some some fabric cobbling and some adjusting on this. So I'll keep you guys tuned to that and uh, and let you see what we end up with um, in case you're trying to do this. And again, this is off of a mid nineties to late nineties, early two thousands Dodge truck, uh, just parted straight off of it, everything and all. Um, so we'll keep you, keep your praise. Wish me luck on my projects. Good luck on yours. Let's go peek at the sunset. Have a good night, y'all.